Hi, this is Corona Quarantine Concerts number seven. I'm Dan. I'm gonna play some more Bach for you today in front of even more of my art. Uh, this is the last movement of the first sonata, and I'll tell you all about the art after I play. <laughs> Okay, now for the art. This is an oil on canvas by Jean-Francois Raffaelli. He was a 19th century French realist. And his buddy Degas said, hey man, why don't you come exhibit with us impressionists? And he agreed, and Monet threw a fit. He didn't want him there because he was already well established and he didn't subscribe to the whole methodology of impressionism. So in the third exhibit he came and uh, brought 30 paintings and totally dominated the whole thing and Monet stayed home pouting. He didn't bring anything, which is kind of interesting. Um, you can see his work at a lot of the important museums around the world, including the Legion of Honor in San Francisco and the Met in New York and the Dorsay in Paris. But mostly they carry his realist stuff, which is way more valuable. This is obviously a little, little more uh, impressionistic. Um, it's from 1896. It's an original frame, and it's going in the upcoming catalog resume, which I'm really excited about. When it arrived from Christie's in Paris, all the corners were broken in this frame, and I was kind of devastated. But I brought it to Jim Story over at Story Framing, and he refurbished it, I guess you could say. Up here is an oil on canvas by Maurice Lufrier. He's not nearly as important of an artist, uh, but I love his work. He's from the Rouen School. It's a little town in north of uh, France. And it's a painting of a clock with a walkway under it. It's kind of an iconic destination in Rouen. I was just there back in September. I walked through it, it was cool. And then this came up on, at an auction house a few months later, so I picked it up. Over here we have a statue by Darcy Sears. She's a local artist, it's Sausalito. And I first met her and discovered her work at the Fort Mason Center. There was a big art show there. And she had all these bronze statues, and there was one in particular that was just absolutely gorgeous and I fell in love with. But I just couldn't afford it. Bronze is extremely expensive to work with, so the prices of those sculptures have to be at a certain level. And uh, she said, you know, I still have this ceramic original that uh, I'd be happy to sell you. So she did. And uh, here she is. Uh, there's a lot more to her. I'm going to show you the rest when I put my violin down. So this is Tara. And I just love the texture. <clears throat> My favorite part is back here though. Take a look at that hair. All 
All right, now let's look at the paintings. Here's the Raffaelli. Stunning. Here's the Louvre. It's a clock. And if you notice these, these are 19th century farm tools I got at an antique store when I was in Paris. And a couple more paintings over there, but they'll be in a later video. You probably uh, caught this in the corner of your eye. That's the Carl Schmidt that was in my last video. And there's Rebecca Fox's sculpture and Judy Hummel's uh, pottery. And if you notice this, that's my violin case. This is a handmade cloth by Felicity McCarthy. She makes all different kinds of these and sells them at Ifshin. So uh, if you want something pretty in your case, go pick one up. Okay, thanks a lot for joining me. See you next time.